live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. A new pedestrian plaza opening today at the San Ysidro Port of Entry. That plaza is located southeast of the Ped East facility and just south of the MTS trolley station. It's part of a $741 million plan to expand and modernize the port of entry. Now, last August, phase two of that project, the Ped East facility, opened to the public, adding 22 new processing booths to speed up the customs intake process. Phase three expected to be completed by winter this year and it'll include the five north and south inspection facilities. The antitrust battle between Qualcomm and Apple beginning this week in a San Diego federal courtroom. Apple CEO Tim Cook and Qualcomm's co-founder Jerwin Jacobs are among those on the high profile witness list. Experts say this could be one of the biggest trials in the tech industry in years. Qualcomm makes chips Apple uses in its phones and other products. Apple says Qualcomm charges too much for patents. Qualcomm says the patents pay for research and development. Jury selection starting today. Opening statement should start tomorrow. Today, Mayor Faulkner's 2020 budget will be formally presented to the city council. It includes $715 million for infrastructure and more than $36 million to fight the homeless crisis. His proposed budget also cuts money for arts and culture and tree trimming. The council must adopt a budget by June 15th. This afternoon, the city council could decide when voters will get to vote on a tax to pay for a convention center expansion. The mayor's initiative to tax hotels and use that money to pay for the expansion as well as homeless services and infrastructure already qualified for the November 2020 ballot. But the mayor wants to move it up to the March 2020 ballot, saying they need the money ASAP. But a measure passed in 2016 requires citizen initiatives to be on November ballots when turnout is higher. The city council could, however, make an exception. Supporters of pushing it to March, say putting it in November, will just have other tax proposals overshadowing the convention center proposal. All right, let's talk to Megan about today's cooler weather. Yeah, cooler today and tomorrow compared to what we saw yesterday. Many of the most of the county in the 70s and 80s yesterday. Today we're mostly in the 60s and a few low 70s, low to mid 60s along our coast. Uh, 70s for Fallbrook, Escondido, Poway, El Cajon, also in Santee, about 67 degrees in Chula Vista. 50s in the mountains with 80s in the deserts. And late tonight into tomorrow, there is a chance of mostly light showers as a storm passes by to the north of us. And we will see the winds pick up tomorrow as well, especially in the mountains and deserts where a wind advisory will be in effect. Virginia. All right. Thank you so much, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.